number one tank engine, and I love to race. When I went to China, a lot of things looked different, but one of the engines looked just like me. Larry! Just a minute! Are you okay? I'll be right there! Whoa, excuse me. Oh, uh, Larry? Yeah, Bob? Over here. Oh, yeah? Um, have you been cooking? What? Oh, you noticed my new hat. Your hat? Yeah, isn't it the coolest? Um, Larry, you've got an oven mitt on your head. Oh, yes, they're all the rage. Simply everyone is wearing them. Really? Well, all the cool people anyway. Yep, but you can't see where you're going. Isn't that a little dangerous? Fashion has its price. Larry, he almost fell into a toaster back there. Oh, Bob, Bob, Bob. Don't you read Veggie Beat magazine? This is a look. Without this oven mitt on my head, I just wouldn't be cool. I see. Hey, that reminds me of a letter we just got from Dexter Wilmington of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, you don't say. I do. Now, Dexter says that sometimes when he's at his friend Billy's house, Billy wants to watch this TV show that Dexter's not supposed to watch. Now, Dexter knows that it's a bad show, but Billy says that if he doesn't watch it, it means he's not cool. What should he do? Oh, what a pickle. You know, Bob. Over here, Larry. You know, Bob. I think we need Cordy for this one. I'll be right back. Um, Larry, watch out for the... Sink. Ouch. Are you okay? They didn't mention this in Veggie Beat magazine. <laughs> you know, Dexter, while I try to get Larry out of the sink, I want you to listen to a story about three boys named Rack Shack and Benny who were in a pickle just like yours. Yeah. All aboard for a big adventure! 